What's happening? I'm Michael and this is Budget Builds. Welcome back. Or if you're new to this channel, we save rusty, crusty old cars from junkyards and scrapyards and places like that. What's happening, Budget Builders, and welcome back to the channel. Once again, I want to thank everybody so much for all the positive support and love that we've had so far on this channel. I don't know about y'all, but I'm about ready to jump back into this Porsche. The rain's been killing us. We've been waiting on some parts, but we're ready to get back into it. First thing we're going to do is jump in here, go ahead and get the... We're going to get some cross braces stuck in the floorboard so nothing gets out of whack structurally. And then we're going to flip this car back up on its side and start cutting those floorboards out so we can get the new ones in. See here, sticking with being on a budget, we grabbed these off of the old bed to the, F, the F350 that we hadn't been able to use, and I'm going to tack these suckers in so this thing's nice and straight. I'm going to probably run a couple more crossways so everything here is nice and rigid and firm, and then we're going to slap, slap the sucker up on its side. Yep. All right, y'all. So as you can see, I accidentally boogered up a couple trial and error. But what we're doing is we're cleaning this off. I've got a spot weld drill bit. We take and cut into a little bit and it grabs too hard. And then we finish it off with that drill bit and get it popped through. We're getting these pulled loose. And I uh, see it's pushed over a little bit there. We'll have to do something with that. And then we'll have to come up from the inside and drill those out to actually get that floor pan off and i'll video some of this it is probably going to take an eternity but it needs to be done right and that's what we're going to do and so we're just going to keep going at it
So as you can see, we are going to town on this thing. I got a good portion of the floor off. Stuff's looking pretty good for the most part. Obviously still a good bit of work to do on that, that center, what is that thing called? Tunnel. Yeah. Obviously a good bit of work still to do on that center tunnel. But as far as up here, let me show you some of what we spot welds that you either need to grind or drill on this thing. Obviously got to replace a little bit there, but overall it's, it's really not looking too bad. Let me show you up here what I was surprised about. Hopefully you guys can see this, but in here, the inner rocker and heater tube literally looks brand new. The paint's still on, you see where I wiped it off a little bit, but it looks awesome. I am so excited about that. See a lot going on here, <laughs> getting there. So the reason I think this is the way it is, and I think I had explained it before, but let me re-mention it. So when the seats were in this car, at some point in time, the springs had given out and they had stuck some plywood up under here. And not only did that hold moisture on the carpet when the carpet got wet, never let it dry out, but it held moisture itself. And that's really what came down to making that floor rot as bad as it did. And that's why I think most of the car realistically is pretty solid structurally but these floors got rotted out. So once we get all this taken care of and cleaned up, I think we'll be moving along pretty well. While he's down here grinding some more on this floor, trying to get the rest pulled off so we can start putting the new on, I'm gonna jump on these trailing arms. We did get some new ones, new, new used ones that we can slap on there and get this thing ready to set back down on the ground soon. Bolt here, this is no longer attached, but this was for the What's that thing? Oh, the bar. bar? Yeah. This was for the sway bar. <laughs> We've got a few bolts here. I'm going to leave it connected here for now. I think at some point in time, hopefully maybe down the in the future, down the road, we might decide to put coilovers on this thing. Not sure yet, though. I do believe this car has been lowered a little bit. I noticed up front that the adjustment is quite a bit more than it than it is originally on these cars so this may have been dropped as well so i don't want to mess with the suspension height until we i can't even talk i don't want to mess with the suspension height until we get it back down on the ground and really see where we're at At least we got a guard on it now. You cut through that? No, I haven't cut that far yet. I'm just looking at it, trying to see where it should matter. So I'm going to go this way. Let's see. All right, y'all, now that we got this rear trailing arm off, I'm going to get the impact out. Let's go ahead and get the CV axle off and go ahead and continue to strip this thing down so we can get all the good stuff off of it that we still need to save for the new one.
right, y'all. So here's our used but much better condition trailing arm. As you can see, overall pretty good shape. Bought this and another one off of eBay. Ended up spending, I think, $550 for the two of them. Not terrible, but it's something we had to have. Bearing still really good shape in it. Went ahead and greased it up. Let's go to start the reassembly process. All right, y'all, now we're ready to get this thing stuck back on. Now you did notice I didn't put the backing plate on it. I have one that came with this one that needs some repair, but I don't have one for the other one. They're easy to put on once we've already put it together, so that won't be any big deal. <coughs> I do also want to clean up and paint those calipers so we don't want to stick them back on yet. You know, our main goal is get everything done up underneath the car that's going to be easier to do while it's on its side. I'm sorry, I probably sound like heck. <laughs> uh, I've been sick, so out here trying to get this done, and I just want to apologize, y'all, for sounding like this. But let's go to get this thing stuck back together. I did leave the bottom on one, the bottom one on for now. So, we, so as we put it together, we can check all our adjustments against this one, and get it just to get it, and get it all just right, and then we'll jump into this one and we'll get it swapped out too. All right, so I'm sure you all can tell what I've done. My dumb butt stuck the wrong side on. Hey, it went on there, but clearly nothing matches up right. So let's go to grab the other one. The nice thing is all of this is the same on this side. So all we have to do is mount it on. And then once we get everything on, I'll set the hub in with the impact just like we did this side. So it won't be too much trouble. Let's go ahead and get this swapped out and put the right one on. So there it is, got it stuck on there. As you can tell, this one's been sandblasted and painted with an aluminum paint. Tell me what you guys think. I kind of think it's a little too flashy with this car. We might end up popping it back off and re-sandblasting it so it's the original aluminum, so it matches the other one as well. Or maybe we should go ahead and paint, sandblast and paint the other one to match this one. Tell me what you guys think. As we get this other side done, we'll stick the parts back on this one so we can go ahead and get ready to put the wheels back on when we get ready to stick this thing back down on that side. But for now, we gotta get this floor finished up and we gotta get that front section finished up so we can put the front suspension on and those front wheels. All right, y'all, now that we got that rear taken care of, we need to go ahead and jump up front here and get this whole front end pulled so we can get better access to everything that we need to repair up here and get it cleaned up. Now that we're starting on this, what we'll have to do is you gotta take three bolts loose on the top side of your front shock. And then we'll take these suckers here loose this guy, pull this tie rod end off, take that brake cable loose, same on the other side, and then these bolts here, and this whole assembly should pop right on off.
What the... You know the snakes? I still won't be able to get that out. Well, we're close to having enough out to be able to put the back floorboard in. I know. I think we can get it in tomorrow. What you think? <sighs> well, we still gotta drill that whole side out. So now that we got all this popped off down here, as you can see, I started cleaning up a little bit. I'm going to finish cleaning up here so we really see what we need to get replaced here. Everything else is super solid down here. So I'm not going to replace this entire panel. I just want to cut out the bad here and get it replaced so we can get this floor in and get this car back down on the ground. So as you can see, we've got this pan stuck up here just to make sure everything's going to fit just right. And so far it looks really good. Now, again, this pans that we got were from Restoration Design Incorporated in Canada. Their products seem to be really great. This looks to be like a, this looks to be a really nice pan. Won't be long. We'll be able to tack all this in. Now that we have everything in to really get pushing on this project, videos are going to start coming much quicker. I just want to apologize once again for how long it took to get another video up for you guys between being out of work and trying to pay for all of this and and everything it's it's been kind of a push but we're doing it and I can't I can't thank my dad and my wife enough for the support and you guys for staying a lot keep, keeping up with all of this and enjoying this just as much as I am this has been a really big push but we're we're doing it this car's going to happen it deserves to come back to life and we're going to make it happen once again this is going to wrap it up for this episode don't worry, I've got at least another couple episodes planned for this week alone, and then they'll keep rolling on. Uh, then they'll keep rolling along, and I'll have more content for you guys really soon. I just want to once again thank you all so much for all the positive love and support that we've had so far on this channel and on this build. We're gonna make this car happen, and I guarantee it's gonna be wild when we're done with it. I can't wait to see you guys later this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and what else we have in store. Catch you on the flip side.